What's up guys, it's Ashley Mova. Today I did this Victoria's Secret fashion show inspired look. Every year I watch this fashion show, I get so motivated, I'm like, I'm gonna work out. Like I've never worked out before in my entire life. But not only are their bodies gorgeous, the makeup and the hair, it's beautiful. And I noticed that this year that they kind of did a different look and a different style of makeup for every girl, depending on their skin tone. And I really, really love that. So I decided to go with this kind of classic Victoria's Secret look with natural glowy looking skin and a super highlight in a corner. So if you wanna get this look with me, let's do this. I think that skin is the number one factor in a good Victoria's Secret look. So I'm just gonna mix a bunch of moisturizers together. So I'm gonna take my Drunk Elephant moisturizer, mix that in with my First Aid Beauty primer, the Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer. It has like a little bit of reflection and shine and shimmer and illumination to it, but I want more. So I'm gonna add in my Cover FX Drops. For coverage, I'm using the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I'm using the illuminating one in medium. I've actually never used this before. <laughs> I actually think this color might be a little bit too light for me, but I'll fix that with bronzer. I'm gonna use my Sweet Peach palette for my eyes. I think this is the perfect palette for a Victoria's Secret kind of look. I'm gonna mix Puree and Candied Peach and take that through the crease. Their makeup is so natural looking, so I don't really want too much of a color payoff. So I'm trying to go in really, really light. For across the lid, I'm gonna go in with Luscious and I'm just taking that across the lid pushing it with my finger and then blending it out. For liner, I'm gonna take this dark brown gel liner and I'm just gonna smudge it on the top of my lash line. I feel like they don't really use harsh wing liner or like a harsh coal liner. So I'm just gonna smudge that on the top of my lash line. Something I've noticed with Victoria's Secret models, they always have a super highlighted inner corner, which I love. So I'm taking this Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop, Install the Show, and I'm going to highlight my inner tear duct. I just did my brows and I'm going in with some mascara. I don't think that the, well, I think the Victoria's Secret Angels probably use like single lashes because their lashes don't look super dramatic and overly done, but they are full and voluminous. So I'm just going in with mascara rather than adding the single lashes because I'm just not a fan of those. I'm going in with my Voluminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal and then I'm gonna mix that with Telescopic. Okay, time for concealer, I'm actually, Shocked. I'm not gonna use Tarte Shape Tape. It's like my true love, but I'm gonna go in with Maybelline Fit Me just because it's a kind of a lighter coverage. And I'm just taking that underneath the eyes. All right, now time to bronze the skin so I can stop looking like a psycho. I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer and I'm really just gonna go to town with this one. I'm taking the NARS Liquid Illuminator in Super Orgasm and just patting that on top of my cheekbone. And then I'm layering that with Petunia from Stella. Final steps for lips, I'm gonna use the Posy Tint from Benefit. And just following that with a clear gloss. All right, guys, this is the final look. I love the way it came out. I think it's perfect for everyday glam, just like regardless of the Victoria's Secret aspect of it. Thumbs up the video if you liked it, and please make sure you subscribe. What was your favorite part of the Victoria's Secret fashion show? Was it the girl frolic? I think that was everybody's favorite part. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. I don't dance now, I make money move. Say I don't gotta dance, I make money move. If I see you now speak, that means